living God's word and the Christian life goes contrary to our natural desires, they deflate our ego. If we have sweat the spotlight of our careers, our lives, and allow the Holy Spirit to do his work to bring up stuff, there may be things we'd rather forget, pain of things that hurt others. King David dealt with this in Psalms 25. O oh Lord, I give my life to you. I trust you, my God. Show me the right path, O oh Lord. Put out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me all day long. I put my hope in you. I remember, O oh Lord, your compassion and unfailing love which you've shown for long ages past. Do not remember the rebellious sins of my youth. Remember me in the light of your unfailing love, for you are merciful, O oh Lord. Psalms chapter 25, verse 1 and verse 4 through 7. I feel blown up spiritually because it's painful to remember. It could feel like a huge mountain to think about things and confess them to the Lord. This might be one of the mountains Jesus was referring to when he said that with just a little bit of faith, even the size of a teeny tiny mustard seed, it can be removed and cast into the sea. David is pictured in the psalm as a faithful miniature. His holy trust, his many conflicts, his great transgressions, his bitter repentance, and his deep distress are all here, so that we can see the very heart of the man after God's own heart, Charles Spurgeon. No matter how big the stain of our past, we can bring it up to God. There's nothing too big nor too small for him. In fact, he was there when we did or said the wrong thing, when we had the very wrong thoughts that we thought. As we grow in Christ, we go through a process of accepting the truth about our lives and the consequences of our choices. We may feel like we have to earn our forgiveness instead of receiving it. We may find it easier to forgive others who have hurt us than to forgive ourselves for the hurt we may have caused. When Jesus confronted the Apostle Paul, he gave him this mission, where I appeared to you to point you as a servant and witness. Yes, I am sending you the Gentiles to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God. Then they will receive forgiveness for their sins and receive a place among God's people who are set apart by faith in me. Acts 26, 16, and 18. God's goal in sending his word to us is that we may receive forgiveness like anyone else who turns to him. And to know the true and loving God, the other process involves first opening our eyes to our true condition. This allows us the opportunity to repent, changing our minds so that we are in agreement with God and ready to admit our wrongs. God wants us to receive immediate forgiveness based on the finished work of Christ. We don't have to work doing good deeds as a form of penance. Anything we do in Christian living, any bits of stewardship we do, is just a part of living life unto God, not earning His salvation. Forgiveness waits us right now if we will only receive it. We all share equally in God's promise of forgiveness. Ready? Ready, catch it!